Morning, lovely people. How are you today? <sighs> We're one day, our first day out of uh, another lockdown here in Brisbane, Australia. Hope everything's going okay wherever you are. Whatever the crazy censorship, whatever the crazy divisiveness, whatever the crazy, crazy of the people and humans and loved ones around you, we just need to bring ourselves back down and get into peace and love and into that state of calm so that we can get on with our day. So I would like to sort of work on releasing more of these energetic attachments, whether the energy is from the stuff that's being said to us from the television, whether the energy is from the things that are being said to us by loved ones, whether it's the energy of the fear of... Uh, damage to those people that we love and care for and want to look after as well and uh, people who just can't look after themselves and we can see uh, things just spiraling in a weird direction at the moment so 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 run our central meridians anti-clockwise over the heart Emotional stress release points. Don't know what it's like around the world, but here in Australia, our politicians are telling people to criticise other people. They're spreading the hate, they're spreading the divisiveness. It's very, very interesting to watch, more than anything I've ever seen in my life. So... I release all criticism from politicians and re-establish my self-worth and self-love. I release all criticism from family and friends and re-establish my self-worth and self-love. I release all criticism from my close friends and re-establish my self-worth and self-love. Okay. Okay. So the flower essence, uh, angel sword is showing up. Angel swords for when we're taking on other people's crap and we're not letting it go. So we've talked about the density of the energy going on on the planet so when we're being criticized when we're taking on that loathing when we're taking on other people's beliefs when we're doing things we don't want to do I've got an elderly aunt at the moment who is being harassed from all sides to take the jab she has health issues it scares the hell out of her and she's gonna do it but it's purely because she is being harassed by everyone in her life which is fine if she chooses to. I'm not saying people should, but it's that harassment that is so constant that's just eating away at her. So pain and punishment, pain and punishment. So we need to release other people's energy. Okay. So I, I release other people's energies. I am the most important person in my life. I release other people's energies. I am the most important person in my life. I release other people's energies. I am the most important person in my life. I am free to support my own belief systems. I am free to support my own belief systems. I am free to support my own belief systems. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a bit of a freeze. You know, sometimes when you know what you believe and someone hits you up and you get quite stuck and you can't say the words, it gets stuck in your throat. You know what you want to say, but the words simply can't come out. It's like the throat chakra gets frozen. Let's uh, just shimmy that energy. Wake up that throat chakra. I am 
worthy of my thoughts. I am worthy of my words. I am worthy of my beliefs. I release everyone else's energy, allowing me to focus on my own life. I release all guilt around having my own thoughts. I release all fear around having my own thoughts. I release all energetic cords attaching me to other people. I disconnect my energy from those around me. I disconnect my energy from those speaking at me. I disconnect my energy from those who don't respect me. Fear, threat, danger. What are the core fears holding you back at the moment? It's funny, throughout this entire time, the fear of death has not come into it at all for me. I've been studying the immune system for nearly 30 years. We have an amazing immune system, incredibly powerful, with B cells and T helper cells and T cell memory as well as antibodies. The only thing we've heard about all year is the antibodies. It's like it was described to me by one scientist as saying, it's like the vaccine gives, it just say the virus is your face and the vaccine is giving the immune system only the nose. But just say I'd had a nose job, just say I was sunburned. It's not much to go by when you get the whole virus you get the entire immune system working on all the different parts of the virus. That's what gives us lifelong immunity. Mm, I honour my immunity. I honour my immune system. My immune system is all powerful. My immune system is strong. My immune system is powerful. My immune system is strong. My body is free to function, uninhibited from drugs. My body is free to function uninhibited from forced medications. My body is free to function, uninhibited by fear and anger. Hold those emotional stress release points. Ah, okay. So my left side, that's the logical side of the brain, it's coming in first. Which side of your ESRs is coming in first. There they go. They're pulsing evenly. It is safe for me to let go of fear and allow me to live my life again. It is safe for me to let go of my fear and allow myself to live life again. It is safe for me to release anger and allow me to live my life again. It is safe for me to release anger and allow myself to live life again. Mm. Okay, beautiful people. Take care of you, have a fabulous day and look after yourselves. Uh, one of the little videos for anyone who's interested that I watched this morning, I think it was on Rumble, it's a 17 minute video uh, by a doctor who's a pathologist and he talks about what is going on in people's bodies when they have the shot at the moment. So it's very interesting from a pathologist perspective what they're 
seeing in the immune system and in the body at the moment. Okay, take care of you.